Welcome back. And in this episode, we're, we've been speaking about um, issues that mainly pertain to first-time home buyers or actually experienced buyers uh, maybe in the situation as well because they've, they've been buying resale and they haven't been buying new construction. And, and one of the issues that can arise in new construction is a property tax holdback. And this property tax holdback is an amount that the lawyers will normally agree on to hold back for a period of 12 to 18 months until the property tax is assessed from the government and then levied on the property. Um, th this sum can be significant. Uh, for instance, if if uh, property tax was deemed to be approximately five or six thousand dollars per year on the unit, uh, evaluating similar and like properties, not this property because clearly it's not assessed. The the lawyers may agree to hold back a full year of uh, property taxes, although you've only occupied the property maybe five, six, seven, eight months. Well, this is to protect. Uh, both parties, but of course, leaving the money in, in, in escrow for that period of time or leaving the money in the lawyer's trust account could be injurious to, to the seller because they know that the property taxes won't be that amount. But it's something that I think you should be aware of in advance. And this normally only applies to new construction properties because if the property has already been assessed and the property value has already been assessed and the property taxes are already a known quantity, those taxes, you will just call the tax office, figure out how much tax they're owing, and then you'll make that payment at that time. However, if you're dealing with a new construction property and you the tax are not assessed, these funds will need to be held back. So just for your edification, so you know in advance what the situation is and what, what it may be, so you're not caught unawares when the time comes. If you purchase new construction uh, property and now you're going to uh, dispose of that property before the tax are assessed, which can take up to 18 months in some uh, some matters, two years, there will be a tax holdback that is being held in escrow in your lawyer's trust account. I, always, I also would caution you to, to put a note in your calendar to remind you to, to follow up with your lawyer after a year or 16 months or 18 months to make sure whatever balance is owing in that tax account balance uh, a refund that's owed to you that you actually receive it because many lawyers have hundreds of closings every year. They may not have it earmarked to, to come back and, and make sure these uh, property taxes are settled. Therefore, your, your money may continue to languish if you don't follow up. So tax holdback is an important part of the real estate process. Even for seasoned investors, they may not understand if they haven't been buying new condo construction or new construction period. <clears throat> but that normally applies to, to new properties only. Uh, on resale, you really wouldn't have a tax holdback unless um, you were, a, when it were unable to get the, the information from the city at that time. But normally that's not the case. So tax holdback, very important uh, to make sure you're aware of what it is and how it applies to your purchase.